In this video series, we will complete a Revit structural project in small, easy steps. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. In our previous video, we have linked Revit architectural file and aligned our levels. Now let's create a new level. Open elevation view. Now go to structure ribbon and from the datum section, click on the level button. Now click on pick lines button form the modify place level ribbon. Now type six feet in the offset at the option bar. Click on the level one to offset. Here type T O F S top of footing level. Now our top of footing level is ready. Now let's open this level. This is the level where we will make our footings. Now open level one. Here we will make structural grids. Go to structure ribbon. From datum section, click on grids button. Click on pick lines button. Now bring the cursor on the wall and press tab button to select center line of wall. We can see our first grid has been created. Now let's create our second grid on our second wall. We can click on this small checkbox to show our grid bubble on top. Now let's move our grid bubbles out. Click and drag this small circle. Now let's draw a couple of grids in between our grids. We will use draw lines option to draw our grids. Now draw a dimension line on our grids from annotations ribbon. Now we will click on this AQ text. Our grids are equally aligned. Click on our dimension. Now at properties panel change text from equality text to value. We can see that we have grids of equal spacing. Now let's rearrange the grid numbers. Similarly, we will draw the grids in other direction as well. We will change this grid name to A. When we draw grid after changing the name, Revit will automatically assign the name of grid as B. Now let's arrange the grids in this direction as well. Now we will assign dimension to our grid A and B. Our grids are ready. In our next video, we will learn how to make and draw structural columns in Revit. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.